Hi everyone, this is your girl Simply Love and I'm here to do your mid-month reading from now until the end of the month. I think I'm going to be doing weeklies here. Uh, I believe I will. <laughs> you know, I'm going to try. Um, welcome to my channel. Thank you all who subscribe. Thank you all who uh, is aboard the love train uh, as we enter into a new year. Um, I wish everybody the best. I thank you all who called me um, private readings. It seems like this month was a, I had a, a few new ones, but I had a lot of return calls verifying when we talked before that um, everything came to pass. And I'm so glad to hear that and getting an updated reading from where we left off until, you know, a few more months or a year down the road. I really appreciate you guys. I thank you so much. And, um, having the courage to even uh, come forth um, and trusting in me to be your uh, reader. I really enjoy that. Um, helping someone else really helps to help yourself and that's what I'm here for. Um, not too worried about a bunch of uh, numbers and things of that nature. I'm here to do what I'm supposed to do and that's help and all those who need help will call in and get the help that they need. And um, turning a new leaf in your life. I'm here to push people forward, to move uh, um, uh, into the future, into to a better life with a realization of what's really happening in your life. That's one thing that we all have to face in our life, the re realization of ourselves. And I know I do. I am the tough love reader. You know, that's what the Most High God chose me for. Um, everybody has their style of reading. Nobody is different. Only you can be you and do what you do. Um, and the reason for that is because everybody has to be reached in a certain way. My way and uh, whoever can connect with me in my way, that's great. And there's other people out here that you can connect with. You know, I may not be the particular person for you to connect with because, you know, my style of reading is very, is tough. It really is at, at times. It just depends on whatever the message is um, that has to be delivered and who are the angel guides that come to me. I mean, you know, these people were once um, humans in a human form just like we were but now that they're on the spiritual realm they still carry their same personality so I'm going to get different type of uh, uh, spiritual angels that uh, connect with me to connect with some of you guys out there and some of them you know are just like how they were here they have their, their personality is going to be the same but they're just delivering love messages they're delivering they want to connect with you in order to make your life a better life to move on forward to happiness is nothing to try to hurt nobody or put nobody down it's all about moving you forward you know, if you're having a rough time in relationships, you know, that's what I focus on mainly is relationships, okay? If you're having a tough time, and I've been through some things, you know, I'm an older woman, I'm, you know, middle age now, and I've been through some things, so some of, a lot of these things, like I said, helping you is helping me as well. Um, and um, if the love is a little too tough, like I said, there's other readers out there, you all guys know, that you could connect with, that you would feel comfortable, um, you know, sitting each every in every month watching you know um i certainly understand you know um but i'm going to keep on doing what i do how i have to do it however the angel guys the most high god has me to say it and uh deliver it that's just the bottom line nothing is going to change me nobody's going to change the way i do my type of readings it's just me i have to be me i can't be anybody else and if it's calls for tough love, that it, it, that's what the angel guys have to say. Tough, that's how I have to deliver it, you know. It's just that simple. Um, so, as we get on to the reading, and this is going to be for the sign of Aquarius. Hi, Aquarius. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that super full moon we had last night that was in Taurus. I went outside, lit candles, and I just, you know, gazed. And I just took, I even seen a, like, it looked to me, in my eyes, I saw like a happy face. So I believe there's going to be a lot of happiness coming forth, especially in the age of Aquarius, where we are, you know, mentors. Uh, we are um, helpers of the world. We have a heart of gold. We love people. Um, we put people ahead of ourselves um a lot of the times most of our lives if, if you're Aquarius you understand what I'm talking about we carry the load of other people just to make sure they're happy and we kind of push ourselves back but 
this age of Aquarius is where, you know, things are going to be developed uh, if you want to, if you listen, if you surrender the ego and, 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 and uh, get into your spiritual. A lot of good things are going to be happening with Aquarius, okay? So let's get on with the reading. Um, I already pre-shuffled the cards to save time and things of that nature. I'm going to stop making all these real dragged out long videos so I can get in for weeklies and things of that nature, okay? So for Aquarius, from now till the end of the month, um, looking at the first week here, um, the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups is telling me for some of you Aquariuses out there that um, you're not in a happy place right now when it comes to love. Some of you feel as though you've been disappointed in love. There was a disappointment for a lot of you. I'm hearing that some of you are very um, bored in a relationship. I hear some of you are bored waiting on a relationship the way that you want a relationship to be. I'm hearing that... Um, you know, sometimes some of you Aquariuses, you can um, kind of like uh, get in your own way when it comes to love. You can, you, you have, sometimes you can self-sabotage without even realizing that you're doing this is what I'm hearing. So, for a lot of you Aquariuses, look, if you're not in a satisfied relationship, if you're feeling bored in a relationship, you're not getting everything that you need in the relationship that you are in it's time to move forward it's time to look uh, from the doubt and look to the happiness here because there is something being offered to you but maybe you're so focused on disappointments that you have a lot of your Aquarius is in the recent past that you're not focusing on what you can have um, sometimes what you focus on a lot that you want so bad may not be good for you Obviously, because the heavens, this is this cup is coming from the heavens, from your angel guides, from the most high. They're, they're calling out to you, look, look, if you put your head up and see what we got here for you, you'll be happy. You'll be satisfied. But you have to get over your doubts and fears about love. You have to get out of your own way is what I'm hearing. And once you look up and see that cup there that's being offered to you, it's there for the taking, Aquarius. Okay, moving forward, the second card I came up with is the, it's the Ace of Wands, okay? All right, as I was saying with this disappointment in love, failures for a lot of you in love, disappointment, um, uh, feeling bored in some relationships, like you're not getting all that you feel that you deserve, it's there if you just stop focusing on the negative, okay? Because the the ace of wands is speaking of you know uh passion drive motivation um in the love department if this is what you want if you look up and see that love is available for you get out of your own way and see the the brighter side of of life Feel, drive get that drive back into you about love and the way you feel and what you deserve in life get that drive back because with the ace of wands is saying that you can achieve that if you just stop focusing on past relationships past hurts past pains it's there you know it's there aquarius for the taking all you have to do is put your head up put your head up aquarius sorry that was upside down put your head up okay and get that drive and passion uh, that you that you had before in your life back as you lead the past in the past because again we are looking at the past with the six of cups some of you are in <coughs> karmic relationships with somebody that you just go in and out of relationships with off and on back and forth indecisive um, some of you are really stuck on someone that you've been dealing with for a long time, but there's a lot of indecisiveness with some of you. You're, you know, it's, it's making you unhappy that way, not getting all what you need and want in a relationship. But there is something being offered to you if you look up and kind of like, uh, I'm hearing getting your head out of the past, moving forward. You deserve better, Aquarius. There's something better out here for you that your angel guides are trying to wake you up to. You know, it's look at these two. Look at these two cards right here. 
there's there's sadness here, unhappiness, um, doubt, uh, you know, feeling unhappy, feeling not unfulfilled in love. But if you look, look, these two hands are reaching out to you from the heavens. Your angel guides and your most high are trying to tell you something to look up. Look up because all that you want is right there. But you just have to stop focusing on this past relationship. Okay. It's something from the past for a lot of you that is getting in your way. It's a lot of back and forth. It's something that I feel like some, I'm hearing tunnel vision. That you see no other thing but this person from the past. But they're not giving you. They're not fully satisfying you. You, you know. Face the facts. They're not. So it's time to look up and move forward from this past. See, again, judgment. Okay? Wake up. This is a wake-up call for a lot of you Aquariuses out there who is stuck in the past or stuck in past situations, stuck in a karmic relationship. It's time to move forward. All these cards here on top are showing me that, you know, your guides are screaming like, Come on, Aquarius, snap out of it. Some of you Aquarius is out there. I'm not talking to everybody. I'm not talking to all of you. You, If you all that connect, know or hear it, knows who I'm talking about. It's just, you know, wake up time. It's time to wake up. All these cards are indicating, look, things are calling from the heavens. The heavens, the angel gods, all of them are just calling on you. Look, wake up, wake up. We hear you. We know what, we, what you want. We know what you need. But you have to... Let the past go in order to get there. You have to wake up. You have to hear the sounds. The horns are calling. The whistles are blowing. It's time to wake up out of this uh, situation where you feel like you're being held back. You're holding yourself back is what I'm hearing. You're holding yourself back because here in the beginning you're being offered. Here, two things are coming out of the sky here. You know, definitely want to give you something but you're not you're just focusing on something else that no longer serves you because your angel gods are, are hollering for you to wake up and come up out of the i'm hearing some of you have rose colored glasses on you're not seeing this thing for what it really is okay because if you wake up if you listen to the wake up call now and and really know that you're worthy i'm hearing that you know you guys are worthy of love so it's time now to take action take action on the on the hear the horns hear the whistle blowing you know come up out of the the grave and 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 come alive and see what's see what's awaiting you from above all these cards are like and bringing you things like here from the skies from the heavens okay but this is in the middle this is the hold up here something from the past or things that happened in the past is holding you up for your celebration with the three of cups <clears throat> they want to celebrate aquarius your angel guys want you to celebrate they want you to be happy with the three of cups here they are offering you love here but you have to get out of your own way to get it okay you have to get out of your own way you have to know that there's a brighter future for you you are worthy of this you know, you, 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 you can wait a little bit because here they're offering it to you. Um, don't miss the ship. Don't miss the boat that's coming in here, Aquarius. Don't miss that. You know, they're showing you your future here. That's what they're trying to say. They're showing you your future. It's there. It's coming. Um, and it's going to be worth the wait with the Three of Cups. There's going to be a celebration of love, okay? We have the Hierophant here. Also, there, you know, for a lot of you Aquariuses, if you wake up to the calling here, if you wake up at, take the rose-colored rose glasses on, get out of your own way, let let go and let God. The Hierophant is here, you know, he's, you know, this is about contracts or commitment or marriage. I'm hearing some of you need to turn your back on a relationship that's no longer serving you. I'm hearing that some of you may be in a relationship like I said, karmic relationship. There, Some of you are in a relationship with somebody that already has somebody else. Either uh, a long-term relationship or someone may be married with the Hierophant being here. Um, for some of you, they're saying wake up out of this, uh, wake up out of your slumber because they want to offer you love. 
They want to, they're, they're give, it's being given to you out of the skies, from the heavens, from the universe. The universe is calling out to you. And for some of you, like I said, you know, it's time to let something go that you keep holding on to that no longer serves you from the past. There could be somebody in and out of your life and you're not, it's not fulfilling you at all. And you're, but you're so focused on it that you don't see um, the gift that's being given to you from the heavens, Aquarius. Take the heat because some of you, if you do wake up out of this slumber, slumber, there's a future for you. It's it's awaiting you. It's waiting for you. Don't miss the boat. It's showing you your future. You got joy and happiness coming here. Something to celebrate when it comes to love. You also may be um, missing out if you're not waking up to this a marriage or committed relationship because that's what that Hereford represents as well relationships committed relationships those are all the scenarios I'm getting for some of you Aquariuses out there uh, if you do do this your ending card is you know hey you have done tied up loose ends they're offering you the world so some of you Aquariuses that you know decide to wake up Listen to your angel guides. They have something for you. Look up in this. Don't look down. Look up. Because there's something here waiting for a lot of you. If a lot of you let go of a relationship that there is a that you may be um, being promised by someone else that they are going to leave someone to be with you, but you're still waiting and waiting and waiting and nothing is happening because they're staying attached to their committed relationship or their marriage, it's time to move on. It's time to tie up those loose ends so you can have the world at your hands and get what you deserve and what you need. You are lovable. I'm hearing you deserve love, Aquarius. You give a lot. You love a lot. You love hard. You need the same in return. Okay? You need the same in return. So that's what I'm getting for you. Now I'm going to um, read from my deck. Uh, it simply loves um, affirmation oracle card and the card I pulled from you from my deck where is my glasses sorry y'all I had them right here where is my shade my glasses so I can hold on can't see without them Thought I had them, y'all. Sorry about that. Okay, Aquarius, from my deck here, and if you like to get these, just email me. My email will be below in the description if you like to have my uh, affirmation oracle cards here. This one's oh, I just I just said this. Get out of your feelings and use your lot uh, use your logic. Use your head, whatever. But same thing I said earlier. It's time to get out your own way. Uh, don't. In this case, get out of your feelings, your emotions. Put that aside for whoever it is that you have these rose-colored glasses on or who's making you promises of the future. But just in and out, ne nothing's ever nothing solved here. It's time for you to heed the call now judgments here saying it's time to wake up shake up shake up shake your life up look up get busy because you got something here that, that they want you to celebrate there's some celebrations here and it is in your near future when you wake up out of this dream world with someone from the past or someone who keeps coming back in and out of your life and for some of you they are committed already they're making promises that they're not fulfilling or they're married in a marital relationship and um, it's time to put that to an end so you can get your happiness okay so the world could be at your feet for some of you there's a promise of marriage okay or a promise of a commitment because the world card is sitting right next to it along with the three of cups saying there's going to be happiness here if you just wake up and put something from your past to the end a lot of you are suffering maybe from a past relationship that you wish you had. It's no longer there, but you're wishing that it was still here. And that's the hold up. That's what you're holding up. That you're holding yourself back for something that's already gone for some of you. So get out of your head and your emotions and think logically in this matter. Okay, the last card I'm going to read for you is from... 
Archangel Power of Tarot cards, okay? And what I pull for you is the Emperor. Okay, and the Emperor says stability and effectivity. Taking char uh, charge of a situation, ambitious, ambitious plans, right? Right, it's all saying it's time to take charge of your own life. It's time to, you know, wake up, smell the coffee, get out of your own way, and start to celebrate your life and your love because it is in your future to have, okay? Uh, a committed relationship, all that you ever wanted is going to be here for you if you just wake up. You got the world. Get out of your head and your emotions and, and look up. Feel more confident because something's coming here for you. It's something's being promised for you. Something's given it to you out of the skies from the your angel guides, from the heaven, your most high. But you just have to look up and see it. You got to stop looking at the, uh, the spilt milk here. Stop focusing on the negative things. And know that, you know, with the empress, the, I'm sorry, the emperor here, again, he's showing up. Well, this is the Hereford and the Emperor. They're both kind of similar to me. They're both similar. They're taking back charge of their life. Uh, they're getting themselves together and they're pulling it, this thing off. Ambitious plan. So, this is the plan for you, Aquarius. It's time to wake up. Get what's yours. Get what's due to you. You deserve it. You're lovable. Um, you've given love. It's time for you to receive it. That's what I'm hearing. It's time for you to receive your love, Aquarius. Okay, so that's what I have for you, uh, Aquarius from now until the end of November, okay? So uh, get back with me um, for your monthly or it'll be maybe a weekly or a, a, a bi-weekly, something of that nature. I'll get back with you on that. And we're going to see if you guys listen. And um, some of you guys, not it's not pertaining to everybody, not each and every Aquarius, just some. And we're going to see um, uh, how you're doing and how things are progressing, okay? Uh, I, wish to ha I wish you all a, a happy... Um, uh, Thanksgiving and be safe, be good. You are love. Love is all there is and love is all there ever be. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>